outside of wildlife. The Animal Show! And now, let's have a wild welcome for... Your furry friends, Stinky and Jay! Hello, all you little animals out there. I am Stinky. And I am Jay. And Jay, today... say hello to Mr. Tree. Uh, hello, Mr. Tree. Mr. Tree uh, wants to know if you want to help us protect trees. Well, of course I want to protect trees, Stinky. Well, good, because today's guest hurt trees. Oh, now, they do not. The giraffe and the sloth do not hurt trees. What do you think? Mr. Tree says, ha. Listen, Stinky, why don't you let the giraffe and the sloth speak for themselves? Oh, don't worry, Mr. Tree. I will protect you from them. Uh, you'll be fine, Mr. Tree. I promise. And we'll all be fine right after this. And now it's time for... That's amazing! Today, an animal that hardly ever goes to the bathroom. Sloths live in trees and only come down once a week to do their duty. Uh, to use the technical term. The slow-moving sloths don't like to do anything that means coming down from their tree or moving around very much. Uh, another one of those animals whose personal habits will make you say... Uh, That's amazing! You know, Jake, I think that sloth scared Mr. Tree. Do you and Mr. Tree mind if I introduce our first oh, guest? Uh, Mr. Tree says go right ahead. Thanks. <clears throat> Today we have with us one of the most beautiful animals on Earth. Especially when you compare her to the sloth. She's also the tallest animal on Earth. Ooh. Giraffes can grow to a height of about 17 feet. Oh, that's as tall as 46 skunks standing on each other's shoulders. Yes, it is. Please welcome from Central Africa... Africa! Alexis the giraffe. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, oh, don't, don't bump. Watch the lights. Don't bump your head. Careful. Oh. oh, it's okay. Just take it nice and slow. Yeah. Oh. Hello down there. Oh, look. A tree. So nice of you to make dinner. Greetings, Alexis. Yeah, hi, Alexis. I'm Stinky, and this is Mr. Tree. Yeah, you can't have him. Oh. All right, Stinky. I won't even nibble. Sorry, Alexis, but Stinky is convinced that giraffes are trying to eat all the trees. Eat the trees? Oh, Stinky, we wouldn't do that. We eat just enough leaves to survive. Well, how can me and Mr. Tree be sure? Well, look at this. We giraffes live in groups of 30 to 50 and spend most of our days just walking about looking for food. We are especially fond of acacia trees. Steady, Mr. Tree, steady. Stinky. Giraffes are tall, so we only eat parts of the tree that no other animals can reach. And it looks like you use your tongue to grab the leaves. That's right. We giraffes have all different ways to nibble at trees. There's the lean-down approach, like this. Perfect for trimming the tops of those short bushes. Mm -hmm. Oh, and this must be the nibble-around-the-middle method. I use that with ice cream. Uh oh Mr. Tree says that's the reach-up technique there. Very good, Mr. Tree. We giraffes have all different ways to eat because we can spend up to 20 hours a day nibbling on trees. Poor trees. But Stinky, giraffes eat back the old growth on trees so that the tree can grow new, stronger branches and leaves. I get it. Well, it's like, it's like what a gardener does when they cut back a tree. Right. Giraffes don't destroy trees. Trees provide the food we need to survive. Uh, just a moment here. Mr. Tree says that you're okay by him, and he wants to see more pictures of the pretty giraffes. <laughs> of course. Ah, oh, here's something you don't see very often. They're going to see which giraffe is stronger. And to do that, they have a contest we giraffes call necking. <gasps> See, they get themselves all positioned. Then Ooh. they link their legs and brace themselves like that. What are they going to do? Watch. They push their necks against each other. Oh, it's, it's like arm wrestling. Yeah, but with necks. Two giraffes can do this for oh. a long while. Usually it's just very playful. But there are times when it can get a little rough. They have to be careful or someone could get hurt. But I thought giraffes were peaceful animals. Oh, we are. See, there's a mother and baby giraffe. That's Whoa. a big baby. Big. Right. When giraffes are born, they stand six feet tall and weigh as much as 150 pounds. Hey, and you know what, Alexis? <laughs> Mr. Tree thinks you're pretty cool. Uh, thanks for coming, Alexis. My pleasure, Jake. 
And I'll say hello to your relatives in Africa, Mr. Tree. Bye. Bye-bye. And now it's no, time no, wait, 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 Jake, Jake, Jake. Just a minute. Let Mr. Tree do it, okay? Uh, here. Okay. And now it's time for baby talk. Uh, okay. So, so here I go. Uh, one small step for a giraffe. And whoa, whoa, oh, 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 oh. Hey, what's going on here? <laughs> Relax, son. You'll be fine. Mom, I thought you said that a baby giraffe could walk five minutes after we're born. Uh, why am I right about this or what? Well, that's right. Five minutes. You just went a little bit too soon. It was only four and a half minutes. Oh, Try okay. it again. All right. I'm gonna. I'm just gonna. Okay. Get myself ready. One leg. Two legs. Three legs. And. and <laughs> Four! Hey, here I go! He does it! Just a little at a time. Wait, wait, uh, I think I got it. Yeah. Hey, I'm up, Ma! Look, Ma! Look! <laughs> wow, you can sure see a lot from up here. Oh, wait, oh, uh, uh, Ma, can I just lean on you? I'm feeling just a little bit wobbly. Oh, go ahead, son. <laughs> oh, thanks, Ma. Oh. It's so good just knowing you're here. I love you. I love you, too. Mm, so what did Mr. Tree think of that oh, baby giraffe? Uh, well, Mr. Tree says it reminds him of when he was a sapling learning how to grow branches. Well, here's something he'll really like. The tree song. <gasps> Mr. Tree think of that. Oh, uh, that was great, Jake, but Mr. Tree says we need more trees on the show. Uh, right? Did someone say bees? Uh, close enough, Tizzy. Uh, time for a quiz, Tiz? It sure is. Ready, oh, Mr. Tree? Um, Mr. Tree is ready. Then here's the quiz. Ooh, the question is, can sloths swim? Take your time, just like this sloth, and I'll be back in a buzz. Ready for the answer? Mr. Tree knows the answer. He does. But I haven't got a clue. Here's the question again. The question is, can sloth swim? And the answer is, yes, the sloth can swim. He usually gets into the water by dropping off a nearby tree branch. And he's faster in the water than he is down on the ground. Believe it! It's true. Sloths can swim. In fact, swimming is one way sloths escape when other animals are trying to attack. They certainly can't move very fast on the ground. Here are some other animals you might not expect to be good swimmers, like the spider. Just watch him go. Swimming with eight legs sure helps you move through the water. And who is this? He looks familiar, but who can it be? That's right, it's a skunk, just like Stinky. And this is an iguana. He lives on land, but when it's time to eat, he dives beneath the water to feed on the algae and sea plants. You've just seen the animal world's most unexpected swimmers. Believe it, because it's true. Did Mr. Tree know the answer to that question? Sure. And I got it wrong. Well, don't feel bad, Jake. He's a very smart tree. Well, maybe we'll all learn something with a visit to the kitchen of Yves Saint La Roche. No, 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 no. Manu. Manu, gosh. Go. Uh, Tari, tell him to go gosh. Oh, imbecile. We just cannot get this staff these days. Yep. 
top! Bonjour, bonjour to all you small animals out there who cannot reach the top of the tree. Today, I am going to show you how to set a table for a giraffe. Voila! La big tall table for the big tall giraffe. Oui. Hello up there! <laughs> now, the first thing that you will need to do is put on the forks and spoons. And to do this, you will need a rope like this. Now, there we pull up. Mm. There we go. <laughs> Remember, forks on the left, spoons on the right. Mm. There we are. Now, now the next thing to do is to send up the plates like this. <laughs> now, some people would pay a fortune for a plate lift, but today I am doing it for free. Mm. There we go. Uh, now, now, now it is time to send up the food. There we go. And we pull on the rope. Mm. Up it goes. Uh, uh, there. Now, the most important thing to remember when setting a table for a giraffe is that you should never, ever let go of the rope like this. I let go of the rope. <laughs> well, um, <clears throat> bon appetit, mes amis, and remember, when you think the sky is falling, it just might be a giraffe's dinner going boom on your head. <sighs> Thank you, Eve. That was very interesting. And painful. <laughs> uh, our next guest is one of the more unusual animals around. Here is Lamont, the sloth. Oh, oh I'm coming. Here I come. Don't want to move too fast or I might get dizzy. Uh, welcome, Lamont. Yeah, hi, Lamont. Oh, hi, Jake. Hi. <laughs> Uh, it's stinky. Right. Oh, so, what can I do for you, fine fellow? Well, well, well uh, uh, let's see. Uh, tell us first why oh, sloths oh, destroy trees. Oh, oh, oh. Mm -hmm. Stinky. Uh, I'm sorry, Lamont. He thinks that sloths are out to eat all the trees. Oh, oh. that's a good one, Stinky. Uh, it is? Sure. We sloths <laughs> love trees. Oh. We live in them, eat from them, yeah. sleep in them. Uh -huh. We couldn't live without our friends, the... Uh, the tr trees? Right. Yeah. Trees are so nice, we'd never uh, hurt, hurt them. them. Uh, but you really do like to eat from them, right? Oh, yeah. Whoa, look at those long claws. Oh, we use those for climbing. Whoa, whoa, careful. Some of us have two claws, so we're called two-toed sloths. And others have three claws, so we're called... Uh, uh, three toad sloths? Hey, how did you know that? Oh, uh, Mr. Tree told me. <laughs> Way to go, Mr. Uh, tree. tree. Right. <sighs> uh, Lamont, I hear that sloths will stay in a tree for a week without coming down. Now, is that true? Sure. Everything we need is in the tree. Why would we want to come down? Well, but don't you like to walk around every now and then? Oh, it's so much work to get down from the tree. It takes such a long time. time. And then once we get down on the ground, we don't move so well. Yeah, I see what you mean. Sloths really are happiest when you're up in a tree, huh? Happy? Of course we're... Happy? Right. Uh -huh. We are besides ourselves with... Uh, uh, excitement? No, joy. Oh. See that sloth in his tree? Uh -huh. See how happy he is? We sloths just love... Uh, uh, trees? trees? Right. Mm. Trees are our life. Well, mm. Lamont, I uh, hate to rush you, but I think it's time for you to sing a song uh, right over there. <laughs> Whoa. All the way over there? Uh, that could take weeks. I... I better be going. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you uh, just start now. Bye-bye. Uh, Whoa, he's really slow. Yeah, slow. Mr. Tree moves faster than that. <laughs> uh, and now here's Lamont the Sloth singing The, the Sloth, Sloth Song. Oh, the sun brings the dawn. Life is a yawn. Stretching or scratching a flea Each day 
I will spend from beginning to end just hanging around in my tree. You may call me sloth and rhyme me with moth. Some say it's Ed and not Z. You may call me sloth. I'm happy with both. Just hanging around in my tree. Now I bid you farewell. Perhaps you can tell how I've used up so much energy. So the rest of the day, I'll rest if I may. Just hanging around in my tree. Well done, Lamont. Uh, well, uh, Mr. Tree is sorry he can't sing a song. Why? Because trees don't sing? No, because he forgot his music. Of course. <clears throat> and now it's time for the Animal, animal Awards. Awards. Today, we find out which animal has the longest neck in relationship to its body size. Oh, but I don't have a neck. Well, then I guess you're out of the running. I... But here are three animals going neck to neck for today's Animal Award. Will it be the giraffe? Oh, yeah. Or the ostrich. Mm. Yes, Mom. Or the long neck tortoise. Oh. Coming in third place is the ostrich. Oh, in second place, the long neck tortoise. That means today's Animal Award for Longest Neck goes to the Giraffe! <laughs> Congratulations, Giraffe! Yeah, you got one heck of a neck, pal. Hmm. Congratulations, Alexis. You were head and shoulders above those other necks. Uh, say, Jake, is today's story about a tree? Yes, it is. You see, Mr. Tree, I told you he knew good stories. Once upon a time, there was a tree who felt something tickling her. Now, being a tree, she couldn't move to stop the tickling, so she asked her animal friends to help. While you're clamoring around and eating my leaves, she said, would you mind finding out what's tickling me? Sure, they said. So the tree's friends climbed around on her branches. They climbed and climbed and searched and searched. Can't find anything here, they called. Oh, keep trying, please keep trying, said the tree. So one of the tree's friends climbed slowly down, sniffing her branches, looking for anything that could be tickling their friend. One of her friends even went way out on a limb. Hmm, nothing tickling out here, she said. Wait a minute, cried an anteater. I've found the problem, you've got ants. So the anteater ate the ants and the tickles went away and the tree lived happily ever after. The end. Woo, well done, Jake. Well, thank you, Stinky. Well, what did Mr. Tree think? Uh, he gives it two limbs up. <laughs> Thanks, Mr. Tree. <laughs> no, no, how about another spot? Oh, all right, you don't like this location, huh? No, how about okay. over that way? Okay. <clears throat> <clears throat> how about here? No, no, I I'm still getting a draft of my tail feathers or something. Uh, I, uh, I, think, I, think, I think we're on... Oh, oh, hello! Oh. Oh. <laughs> yes, once again, it's oh. habitat time, and we've got a wonderful habitat. Oh, oh. oh no, just a second. Armstrong! Oh. Armstrong! Oh. Oh, are you all right? Are you all right, uh, Armstrong? Uh, yeah, yeah, uh, just fine. Uh. Where are we going to today, huh? Oh, oh we oh. are going, oh. uh, excuse me, to oh. a wonderful tropical riverside. This is a tropical riverside, say eh? It's not bad, huh? Yes, it's nice and peaceful, isn't it? Oh, look, there's a darter. A what? A, a darter. They're birds that eat fish from the river. Oh, and look over there. Over where? There, behind that branch. Oh, yeah, it looks like a rhinoceros. It's a javan rhino. It uses the rivers as a way of getting around and keeping cool. Huh. Whoa, now there's a bird with class. That's eh? a that's <laughs> a heron, Armstrong. Ooh. They feed on fish in the shallow parts of the river. Hey, uh, I wonder if herons like chicken hooks. Yo, whoa. 
<laughs> Come on, Armstrong. I want you to take a look at this archer fish. What do you mean, what's an archer? Whoa, hey, did you see that? Did that fish spit or what? Yes, the archer fish hunts insects by shooting water at them. Oh, oh did you see that? He flipped out of there. Yeah, now look, I bet he's going to shoot again. I can just tell. He's, he's aiming, and... Uh, whoa, that was a nice one. <laughs> Bullseye! Uh, you mean bug's eye. Bug's eye. <laughs> <laughs> That's a monitor. That looks like a lizard. It is. The monitor is a kind of lizard. Yeah, big kind of lizard. It can grow up to be six feet long. Uh, maybe we should give him some room to grow, you know what I mean? See you later, fella. Mm. Oh, it's lovely. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh, Armstrong, watch out for that, that branch. What branch? Oh, ow, ow, oh, that branch. Oh, boy. Oh, whoa, I'm seeing double. Uh, but check out that exotic bird. Ooh. That's a Hoitzen. It's a pretty strange bird. It can't fly very well, but it's a good swimmer. Oh, I like that in a bird. Oh, and there's a baby Hoatzin. Isn't she cute? Yeah, she's not exactly an ace flyer either. No, but Hoatzin chicks are great at climbing. Yeah, speaking of climbing, uh, what do you say we climb out of this river before I get hit in a noggin with another branch? All right, Armstrong, let's go home. Oh, oh, oh dear, uh, uh, for habitat time, this is Ollie the Tapir. And I'm Strong Chicken Egg. Uh, uh, just back from a tropical riverside. And still seeing double. Uh, hey, which one of you two is Ollie? Uh, mm -hmm. Here right. it is! Okay. Time well, for it. another quiz! Yeah, I'll take care of it. And Mr. Tree is ready for another question. <laughs> oh, he's one smart tree, but let's see if you he can see. answer this! up there and head down here. Oh. Uh, what do you think, Mr. Tree? Here it is! Here's oh, the quiz! <laughs> With the water down low and its head up high, how does a giraffe take a drink? The answer? By spreading its front legs and bending its long neck, a giraffe can reach down and take a very, very long drink of water. Believe it, because it's true! Thank you, Tizzy, for another quiz. Yeah, and thank you, Ollie and Armstrong. Bye. Mm. Bye. Right. <laughs> and you too, Eve. <laughs> and a special thanks to Alexis the Giraffe and Lamont the Sloth. My. And to all you little animals out there, until next time, keep on flapping, swimming, hopping. And growing. Right, Mr. Tree? Wave bye-bye. Uh, bye-bye. <laughs>